it's Mark here and welcome back to my channel. Before we get into the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I upload next, which is every Monday and Friday. So on today's video, I'm going to be doing another tag. This time I'm going to be doing the New Year look back tag. So what this is, is a look back on previous year, 2020 and what we want to do in 2021. So these are just questions about what we accomplished last year and what we want to accomplish this year. It's a new year look back at the year that we had and talk about the highlights. So we're gonna be looking back on the year 2020 and preparing for the year 2021. So let's get into the new year look back questions. So, question one, what did you do in last year that you've never done before? So, what I did last year that I've never done before, I made a film for the My Estate Film Festival. It's a film festival that runs here in Tasmania. And I've been wanting to enter a film into that for like the past three or four years and I've never done it. But since I did film class this year, that was part of our major assignment and I did it. I entered the film. At the time of filming this it hasn't been judged yet so who knows I doubt I'll win but you know if I do I guess I'll say. So as I mentioned this video was actually filmed way back and my film was actually a finalist for the most engaging talent category. I didn't win but it was nice to be nominated. Question two. What was last year's New Year's resolution? How did you do? So I had a bunch of New Year's resolutions last year that got thrown out the window because of coronavirus. But one of the main resolutions that I had was to clean my disgusting, messy, filthy bedroom. And this took me into almost halfway through the year. I did a clean with me on this channel of picking up stuff and putting it away. There was lots of papers everywhere. It was a complete mess. So the resolution was to clean it and to keep it that way. And honestly, I think I'd done a pretty good job on keeping it clean. I picked stuff up off the floor, like when it's not supposed to be there. So I think I've done a pretty good job with that New Year's resolution. Question three, what would you like to have accomplished last year that you didn't get to do? So one of the things that I was really looking forward to and was hoping to accomplish was to do the Point to Pinnacle, which is like a walk up near the mountain. And it's like, 20 something kilometers and it's got some uphill areas and it can be very hard I mean it's a lot of kilometers to walk and that was one of my main goals that I want to do because the year before last I actually did the point to pub which is a shorter version but last year I wanted to push myself to actually do the walk and I didn't get to because it got cancelled because of coronavirus so that was the one thing I wanted to accomplish and I didn't get to. I would have thought that the whole coronavirus thing would have settled down by the time the event should have happened, like in November. I thought the whole thing would have settled down, but I just need to be extra careful. So I'm really disappointed that I didn't get to accomplish it. So hopefully I can accomplish it this year. Question four, what was the biggest achievement of the year? So the biggest achievement of last year, I guess, was doing Run the Bridge very early on in the year before coronavirus. I did Run the Bridge, which is a fun run. I know lots of events that are my biggest achievements, but you just have to run across the bridge near Hobart. I've done it before. Honestly, last year, there's not much you could have accomplished because of so many restrictions. Question five, what was the best thing you bought? The best thing I bought was probably my denim jacket. I've actually been wanting one for years now and I've never been able to buy one. I probably could have, I just couldn't be bothered. And then I bought the denim jacket as an early birthday present. I mean, really enjoying it. It is a little big for me, but I love how it looks in terms of star wise. Question six, did you travel anywhere memorable? Well, we couldn't go 
traveling much last year but I did vlog some of the road trips that I went on. I did go on some road trips after coronavirus. I went to Bridport, Bishano and Port Arthur. So literally all of those were memorable. I honestly can't pick a favorite. Bridport we did more stuff. Bishano we barely did anything. Port Arthur, yeah, I guess was just in between. So all of those places, Bridport, Bishano, Port Arthur, all of them were memorable. Question seven. Tell us a valuable life lesson you learned last year. Valuable life lesson that I learned. I guess just be yourself. Don't care what others think of you. Never give up. Stay strong. Be grateful for everything. Those are kind of obvious ones, but all of those things, they're just all really important. And those are some of the key messages that we can have to being successful in life, like keeping those messages in mind. It's just a good reminder to us that like we're worth something as humans. And like if I've ever been feeling down or I'm getting annoyed at someone, I just remember I'm grateful for being in this world and you know, I shouldn't hate it. I'm grateful for being here. I'm grateful for being a human being because some people don't have that opportunity like some people aren't even born and some people grow up with disabilities and I'm just grateful that I'm happy and I'm healthy there's so many life lessons that can be learnt question eight if you could look back on one memory this year you wish you could relieve what would it be I mean I guess last year was a it definitely wasn't the best year uh, but I guess I really do not know. As I said, I'm not the best person at picking favourites. Like, I'm not sure there's any memories of last year that I would particularly like to relieve. Well, I mean, the holidays, the road trips to Bridport, Bishnon, and Port Arthur, they were good and I enjoyed those. All of the good times that I had last year, I can't really answer that one in full excessive detail. I'm really sorry about that. Question nine, if you could change anything about the year you had, what would it be? Well, Obviously, I would love to change coronavirus happening, but, you know, you can't really control that. Although, I wish I'd maybe warned people about it. I'm not sure anyone would have listened to me. <sighs> but, like, if I only had a little bit of knowledge that it was going to happen, because it was all kind of a shock, it just happened all too quickly. So I wish I could have kind of warned people about it, but honestly, no one would have known, and I couldn't have really known it was going to happen. Question 10. Share something you're looking forward to this year. Well, this year it's going to be pretty unpredictable. Who knows what will happen. Guess I'm looking forward to a few things. Hopefully that will happen. They go according to plan. I'm going to be going on a mini holiday soon. So I guess I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully we can do it. I'll look forward to doing the point to pinnacle and actually doing it who knows what next year will throw at us it'll be interesting but anyways that is it for the new year look back tag so i hope you guys enjoyed so let me know in the comments what your new year's goals are and things that you accomplished last year i'm interested i'd, I'd like to know thank you guys so much for watching also be sure to comment down below what other types of videos you'd like to see on this channel like what's what kind of videos would you like to see me do this year? Help me out. But anyways, until next time, in my next video, I shall see you then. Goodbye.